Hello, my name is Martyr, and this is Let's Play QP Shooting Dangerous, and thank you for watching. QP Shooting is a shoot 'em up bullet hell style game, guys, which we see a lot of these types of games when it comes to gaming, guys. Matter of fact, aside from puzzle platformers, I think this may be the second most developed genre or game, at least in my opinion, that you see. Uh, which is why I kind of tend to stay away from this genre, these this, these type these types of games, guys, because most of the time they're just the same thing over and over again. But sometimes a bullet hell game comes along, guys, that you simply cannot ignore, especially when pudding is involved, guys. QP Shooting released on Steam November 2014, but it's been around a while since about 2012. It was developed by Orange Juice, the amazing people behind 100% Orange Juice, and published by Fruit Bat Factory. You can go ahead and get QP Shooting on Steam for the sale price of $7.19 or $7.99 normally. Now what can I say about this game, guys? It's very stylized, the music is like poppy and catchy, there's a humongous adorable anime character on the screen and the character is obsessed with pudding. I mean, I can't really put out any more weirdness than that right there. There's just, just that's what you're going to expect from this game, okay? Anime, pudding, sh bullet hell. I never thought I'd see that combination, but here we are. So <laughs> we're going to start off by checking out the options here, guys. Now, there, the game does have a little bit of a weird resolution going on. You do have like uh, res resolution control, uh, but the aspect ratio is unfortunately not that great. I could use fill, use it to fill the window, uh, but then the animation kind of gets stretched and doesn't look, in my opinion, as, as as good a quality as it should. But otherwise, you have some you know cool little you know graphic manipulation here, some things you can do, FPS, all that good kind of stuff here. Uh, some sliders, of course. You can, of course, rebind all your keys. You can play the game with your keyboard, uh, and all the keys are, you know, uh, rebindable, which I think is really cool. Or you can play with the game with the controller, which I would suggest you to do because this game is hard as hell. Uh, and it works perfectly fine with most controllers. My Logitech controller is automatically detected. I don't imagine I have much trouble with uh, many other controllers in that. So, no, uh, no, 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 no. Okay, so we're going to go. Uh, into the game here. Now there's two different kinds of game modes here. There's arcade and conquest. Arcade basically is, well, exactly the way it sounds. You basically start from level one, go as far as you can and try to beat it all in one playthrough. If you lose at any point during the arcade mode, it's game over. Uh, but uh, in the conquest mode, it's a little bit different because in the uh, uh, conquest mode, you can kind of pick the level that you want to play and go through that level. So if you beat level one, you get to level two. You can basically go back to level two if you lose during level, you know, whatever. So you can basically go to whatever level you want in conquest mode, where arcade mode is just kind of a more, I, I would say it's more challenging, to be honest with you. We're going to check out arcade mode. There's, of course, four difficulties because this game is already balls hard enough on easy. They decided, let's put it on super. Matter of fact, we're going to put it on super. What the hell, right? No pain, no gain, or something like that. Uh, that was my little profile right there. Didn't want you to think I skipped anything there. That basically just allows you to have multiple save files if you have multiple people on your computer playing the game, which is always nice. And that's one thing I will say is that QP shooting is very family friendly. Um, and anyone can play this game. And it's really easy to just pick up and play and just go. Now, there is some different things you can have as far as options go before you start playing the game. You have basically different kind of play styles. What these affect is your hyper mode. Um, so depending on your play style, like if you find yourself just holding down the shoot button, you may want to be more of an aggressive player. If you find yourself, you know, dodging around and taking pop shots, maybe defensive is best for you. Uh, or you could play orthodox, which I guess is kind of like the middle stance. Basically, you're kind of just doing both. I'm going to go with aggressive. If we're going to be on an extremely hard mode, we might as well go with aggressive. I'm not sure what this one does. What does it say? It says toggle automatic slow movement while firing. I'm not really sure what that means. Uh, blah, I don't know. Uh, now, basically, these basically allow us to change our form styles. I'm not really sequential, individual, both form changes. I'm not really sure. But I do know that basically your your character kind of has like these, these little turrets around her. And that's how she fires. So as you can see right there, uh, that is the front formation. And then depending on the formation that you take into combat with you will kind of change your, almost your, your play style in a weird way. So if you have like, you know, shell, back, 
at front. Apologize, I yawned there for some reason. Uh, <laughs> you basically will have a little bit, you know, it'll change your gameplay style, basically how you shoot, basically what direction you shoot at, and it can change depending on the board and the number of enemies and all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, basically you can also find these. I think there is a total of 28 formation styles that you can have for your character. So there's fire, there's back, there's a whole bunch of them. I'm just going to go with what the basic stuff that they offer me and start getting into the gameplay here. Uh, which I expect to die very quickly. Now, really not much to speak of uh, as far as what you're looking at right here. On the top left, we have my score. On the bottom, the bottom of that, we have my heart. To the top right, we have my chain, which I'd say we're so far doing pretty good for super hell mode. I thought this would be a lot more uh, chaotic, but they are a little bit faster. I've noticed. They are much faster this time. Now, because it's a bullet hell style game, you got to imagine what you're trying to do is trying to avoid the enemy shots. Every time you defeat an enemy, their shots kind of turn into points. Uh, so it's kind of a good idea to kill enemies as fast as possible. You kind of want to finish them. Certain shots, though, don't get turned into points. Only certain kinds of blasts get turned into points. As you can see, we've also earned up our chain. What that chain allows us to do is kind of go into hyper mode, which just allows us basically to shoot a hundred times. My god. Okay, this is starting to get a little much. Oh, God. Okay, this is good. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. All right, we're good. Now, we got just... That, that caution side kind of lets alerts us to warnings when things are bad things. Oh, dear God. When bad things are basically coming, we want to kind of avoid that, those areas. Uh, usually. Dear God. I'm experiencing a slight bit of slowdown uh, right now. I think that's probably just due to my recording. Uh, software more than it's actually the game itself. Oh god, okay. I have played the first level, by the way. Uh, and I died several, many times. I'm kind of surprised I'm doing so well on the, uh, the first level on Super here. Okay. Alright. Now, you saw me activate my hyper mode. Oh dear god! Okay, this, this is... Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Okay, now we're going to want to change our shots here to go shoot backwards. Change our formation because enemies are now kind of shooting at us from behind. As you can see here. Oh, God. Dodge, dodge. Okay, we, we beat them. Switch back to this mode. Oh, wow. I almost got hit right there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right, we won that battle. Oh, okay. Now, there is some, you know, text going on here. There's a little bit of a story. This is QP, obviously. If you're familiar with 100% Orange Juice, you know who she is. She's obsessed with pudding, guys. There's really not much more I can say than that. There's a lot of talking that goes on here. I'm going to fast forward through it. Needless to say that pudding has disappeared from the world, and she's not really sure why. So she needs to find out why. This is her friend who she's going to try to knock some sense into so that she'll remember pudding here. Uh, and now, oh my god, she's shooting so many lasers. Oh my god, I got hit. I'm totally getting hit. Okay, could you please die? Please die, please. Oh my god. So many lasers. So much stuff on the screen. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, I got hit. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, guys. I'm gonna die. This boss has three forms after this. Oh my god. That's it. Yeah, that's over. There was no way in hell I was gonna dodge that. That is insane. After we beat a level, it shows us how we did, of course, which obviously is terrible. We did get our points, though. We got 64 our points. What are our points for, are you wondering? Well, we're gonna show you right now. You can't save your replay for you to watch later. See how you did, if you did terribly, if you did good. Uh, you know, share your victories with your friends. Now, we can use our points to basically buy more uh, formations, for instance. Like, I have now a 434. It doesn't look like I'm able to buy any of them. Uh, but, you know, if we had enough our points, we could buy a formation to basically to add to our arsenal, which may make things either a little bit easier or a little bit harder, depending on what it does. And you can obviously get more and more uh, formations here. There's also trophies. The game does feature a whole host of steamy goodness. 
um, from, you know, Steam cards, Steam achievements, 100% orange juice, or I should say orange juice always brings the goods when it comes to that type of thing, guys. There's leaderboards, and apparently if you have shoot, uh, QP shooting one, you can uh, transfer over your R points. I'm not really sure what that is, because obviously I don't own it. Like I said, you can review how you did. You can also see your rankings, if you're doing any good. You can view your save replays, which I don't have any. We're going to check out conquest mode now, which is more or less the same thing. There is five stages, but they have those four difficulties that you can kind of play them over and over again to see how well you can do. Uh, which, you know, it, it's it's only, it's not, you know, too many boards, but it's, a, you know, it certainly is very challenging to say the least. I'll show you the second board and how hard that is. But yeah, I just love the adorable style. I love, uh, or, or, you know, Orange Juice guys. I love their that developer. They do really cool stuff here. Which mode did I put this on? I have no idea if this is on hard or super hard or what. I'm going to keep my spread shot going on here. Uh, because there's usually like a lot of enemies in this board. Like a lot. And now these particular enemies right here, they explode, but they leave these ring of pots behind. Which I have to avoid. If I basically touch them, I will lose a heart. And I will be hurt, which will really much suck. Uh, I wonder if there's a way to get more hearts, by the way. I wonder if there's like a thing. There's like an upgrade somewhere I can buy to get more hearts. I'm not really sure. I didn't mean to activate my, my stupid hyper thing. Oh, God. Okay. It's birds! Birds! Got to switch formations very quickly and avoid all shots. Oh god, okay. Uh, uh, there we go. Birds! The birds! Oh god! Oh, I thought I was totally dead there. Oh my god. Okay, butterflies. Colorful butterflies, please go to hell and die. Why do you hate me, butterflies? All I want to do is have you land on my finger and then eat some pudding. Why is that so hard? Oh my gosh. Okay, now this is gonna, there's gonna be like a giant mini boss here, which is like this giant plant dude. I'm gonna try to kill him as humanly fast as possible. Please die. Please die. Oh god. I don't think I can shoot him right now. Oh god. Okay, there it goes. He's dead. We got a lot of points for that. Built up a lot of chain, a lot of scores. Oh god. So yeah, I mean, it's a definitely a challenging game as far as, you know, bullet hell games go. But then again, I don't play too many, so you could be probably a little bit, you guys would probably be a little bit more of an expert on that type of thing than I am, for sure. They're just not my forte when it comes to games. It's not like I don't enjoy them. It's just I find them to be kind of usually, you know, more or less the same thing, kind of. I'm going to activate my hyper here and try to take these out. Oh god! There we go, beautiful. Nicely done, QP. There we go. Um, are you kidding me? I was gonna say these. Oh, so these ones can be destroyed. These, these. Oh God. Die! Why are the birds trying to kill me, man? What did I ever do to the birds? Okay, we got a lot of bad guys here. I want to try to take them out as fast as humanly possible. They're throwing apples at me. What is this? What is this? What is this, Kirby? You can't throw apples at me. You know who I am? I'm QP. I'm the hero of this game. Give me my pudding. Okay, let's reverse our shots here. Let's take some backwards shots. I really wish I had like a side attack right now. That would certainly be a lot more. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, I had to activate my, my uh, hyper there because I was in deep. Oh, I got hit. Gosh dang it. Okay, let's spread shots, spread shots, spread shots. Did we win? Did we win? Oh, here we go. Pudding is gone, even from, the memory of, from memories of everyone's in existence. What in the world is going on? What the? Hmm? Kuyupiti, what the heck are you doing here? Why is everyone floating? Disguised as a woman? Disguised as a woman? Oh, please, we are both men here. That is a fact. What? Admit it, crossdresser. You're mistaken and rudely at that. I, QP's a dude? Oh, how deplorable. For someone like QP to dress like a girl, what trash you've become. Huh, trash? 
Lovely flowers and muddy water. A spray of brutality. I don't even know what is going on here, guys. You're not cute at all right now. Stop looking like this. Grr. This is misunderstanding. And besides, I transformed. I transcend cute. I'm a girl of absolute beauty. I was already angry. Surely you could hear my lamenting over pudding. But it's time. It's come to this. Oh, good Lord. If you won't stop looking like this, then I'll just have to stop you myself. I'll beat you down. I don't know what's going on here. There's something coming in from behind, though. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Ow. I haven't fought this boss, okay? Give me a break. Oh, my God. He is tough. Oh, God. Avoid lasers. Avoid lasers. Stop focusing on shooting and avoid lasers. Okay. Change formation. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dodge the lasers. Dodge the la- Ow! Why didn't I dodge the lasers? He probably has several forms. Usually the bosses each like have three forms, three health bars that you need to blow through uh, before they die. Hopefully I can show you the first. There we go. We got at least to the second one. Oh, right now he's like these shooting lasers of death. Let's act. Oh, God. Oh, it looks like the hyper shot took a shot for us. So that's kind of cool. Okay, so we all we got to do is just take care of those. That isn't necessarily a big deal. As long as we can avoid him, we'll be good, I think. He's not so tough. Okay, I want to take that out before it shoots. I also want to take this out. Please, die. Oh, God! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. QP shooting! <laughs> Give me my pudding! Give me my pudding, man. This calls for a good distraction. Oh, oh, he's going into super form. Final attack. Breasts. Oh, God, he ripped his shirt off. What's going on? Why is he... Why is he shirtless? Guys, what is going on here? Oh, God. Oh, I, I didn't think I was going to make it right there. Oh, God. What is going on here? He's just shooting like mad. Oh god, focus on dodging, focus on dodging, focus on dodging, focus on dodging, oh my god, focus on dodging, focus on dodging. It's hard to commentate and, and, and play this game, guys. Oh my god, oh, 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 what? No! So close! No! Damn you, shirtless bastard! Yes, I will save the replay of that. Uh, we're so close, guys. We were so close. But we can go to the um, Arbit room here and maybe buy a uh, formation. So you can buy Orbit, which shoots like in all directions. Support. Twin Cannon. Sure, let's buy Twin Cannon. And now that's added to our, uh, our formation here. As you can see, we can make it one of our three formations. Can we please... Could you, could you, but no, wait, I want to go to my, what? No, I don't want to, no. Can I not change my, what, what is this mat? Okay, let's go to arcade then. Can we change there? There we go, okay. So we could add that there, twin cannon. We're gonna wanna keep that rear one though, I think. Rear, <laughs> rear. And then we could use that for the first board. I'm not sure if you could alter your forms in, um. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool, actually. Are those little bunnies? They're little bunnies. Yeah, guys, it's an adorable game. Uh, very challenging. Um, it'll probably offer definitely, probably, I'd say, depending on how far you want to get it, how far you want to like get your high score, if you want to beat the game on ultra hard. Uh, I think there's plenty of, of pretty decent replay value here, guys. I think it will basically vary from player to player, obviously. If you're not that into uh, you know bullet hell style games, you may not enjoy this as much but you know i could definitely see the the charm and the adorable nature of this game for sure and you know i do enjoy the fact that you can buy those different kinds of styles and forms here which this one seems to be kicking some serious ass i kind of enjoy this form quite a bit and I do enjoy the fact that it kind of changes things up guys so to wrap this all up guys pudding is great you should go get some pudding i think pudding is delicious did i mention the pudding 
the pudding is bug free guys and it's very well made uh, you know from all the chaos on the screen to the music it all matches very well and the pudding is you know very obviously the pudding so it's going to have some replay value but pudding eventually the pudding will run out though so it's not like it's a roguelike pudding or procedurally generated pudding which sounds delicious so yeah if you love 100 percent orange juice guys and that weird humor and style you will enjoy this game guys you know plus you know pudding so big thanks to the developer and publisher for a chance to check out this game thank you for watching we're gonna subscribe and share i'll keep bringing you awesome games guys till next time play more indie games pudding